Hello children, hello everyone. Welcome to another Africa history series on Camelina Learning. And today we speak about the formidable Mrs. Margaret Echo. Mrs. Echo was born in 1914 and lived beautifully till the year 2006. She believed that every woman should be empowered politically and encouraged all women to join her political party or any political party that would fight for their rights as women and empower them and that would be against any form of oppression. Mrs. Echo was very fashionable and she was both Igbo and Efik. As you can see here from this Efik national attire, she mixed cultures beautifully. She married Dr. Echo who was a Bibio and they had two children. They lived in Aba and built a beautiful life there. While there, Dr. Echo suffered a lot of discrimination against him from the colonial rule and empowered his wife, actually gave her his blessing to attend the meetings where she met other formidable greats like Namdi Azikiwe and Herbert Macaulay. This was how or where the other women's revolt started. She partnered with wonderful women like you see here, like Mrs. Ransom Kuti, to hold protests against rules, against an Enugu coal mine. And she worked tirelessly to make sure that all women were empowered. She was so forceful in her rule, in her need for women to become active, that she bought up all the salt in the market, which was an essential need after World War II, and made sure that any woman who wanted salt had to join her party. She did that so that women would know their rights. Because of Mrs. Echo's contribution, that's why many of us women now in Nigeria and in the world can actually vote and stand for our rights. We thank you, Mrs. Margaret Echo.